tree branch can be seen moving bizarrely on its own. It's throwing it back. <laughs> right behind little Elijah is what looks like the dark, shadowy... Oh, what the f... See? Yes, my people, what are you telling me today? We're doing something different. We're not playing a game. We're going to watch some scary videos. I've just typed in scary videos on YouTube and I've just scrolled so far down and picked on a random one. So we're going to see what happens. Trailhead, Love a bit of ads. Free online Love some platform. ads. From Salesforce. Like and subscribe. Nope. I need to close my eyes for that, I don't like right spiders. Now, or this five. Number five. Popular five. YouTube ghost hunting team, Twin Paranormal, are invited to investigate the allegedly haunted Cutthroat Brewing Company in Markleville, California, originally built in 1862. Fuck me, that is loud. Okay, this looks weird as fuck building has been through many changes over the last 158 years. The structure has served as a hotel, a bar, a restaurant, and for a time, even as a temporary doctor's office and a morgue. Through oh, years, a morgue? Nah. Visitors of nah, the that's, that's fucked, man. A bar and a morgue, that's so fucking activity. random. What? They say that bottles and chairs in the bar sometimes just move on their own. What would happen? And literally, we have the clip. <laughs> Why oh, is the ball on top? Did anybody hear that step right there? I, I had heard it say left, and then I heard like a, a, a footstep right here. Literally right here. The ball. The ball. Do you the ball. Hang on, let me let me pause this. Do you lot believe in ghosts? Cause I don't know. I'm one of the things like I'll believe it when I see it type shit. The ball. The ball. Thank oh. you. It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> oh, Many have he is so fucking scared. The dark apparition of a woman wearing heels pacing back and forth in front of the windows <laughs> on the second <laughs> floor. No and some have spotted the menacing figure of a man standing behind the restaurant's bar. Once a grandmother brought her very young granddaughter along with her to visit a friend who worked at the cutthroat. When they reached the upper floor of the building, the toddler seemed to start playing with a child who just wasn't there. Oh, laughing and talking to this invisible child, the little girl kept calling out the name Sophie, Sophie. over and over. While Sophie, playing, the grandmother said that she are. didn't know anyone named Sophie, and she didn't know where the child could have even heard that. Twin paranormal team Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick are staying. Can I just say, these are the type of people you see at work in, work in sex or whatever it's called, CX sex, mate. So a brewing company overnight to try and capture some of the location's intense paranormal activity. They decide to place a ball at the top of the staircase to potentially trigger Sophie and watch her possibly play with it or move it around. The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! Thank you! It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you! It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Are you up there? And if you're thinking that the ball placed on the step's edge was bound to fall anyway, mm. well, it should be I'm noted sure that Ryan that did way. test its placement to make sure that the ball wouldn't just fall over on its own. No, you I, you I filmed us uh, stomping next to Yes, right? I did. Yes, I did. To be fair, that is quite sturdy. The thing is, like, him so doing that could have made it test again. dodgy for later on. Here you are upstairs. Use your energy. Kick that ball. Twice. Or you can yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Sorry. So, everybody's <laughs> he gonna make fun of me for that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it just really scared me because it caught me off guard. It really did. This time, the ball bounces back down the steps as on command. The team gathers their courage and asks the spirits that haunt the Cutthroat Brewing Company some questions using a modified spirit box, and they get some very strange answers. But what they don't know is that one of their stationary cameras captures something truly chilling. Who's here with us tonight? Please. Please. Oh. 
Oh, fuck no. Fuck no. Towards the front of the building, one of their night vision cameras pointing towards the back nah, door had picked up what fuck. looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building. If you look close, this man-like figure starts to form his body and then his head. Right after that, Ugh. he turns his head facing their direction before exiting out the back door. So what do you think? Did the ghost of a child named Sophie roll the ball down the stairs? Could the strange figure be the spirit of the man people claim to have seen behind the bar? And if not, just who or what is this? See that, that bit, I'm not, I'm not too sure like how you could explain that unless it's an edited video. Or, but honestly, now, I just the don't know. strangest thing about this paranormal video might be the source because this video was released by none other than the actual mayor of the city, Armenia, Colombia, mm. Jose Manuel Rios. So the security guard in the video says that he saw a male figure descend the stairs inside the mayor's office. He pursues the man, but the guy just seems to vanish into thin air. The security guard can be seen on CCTV searching the area, but then things take a terrifying turn. Like an elf, right? <laughs> no! Wait, 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 wait. Rewind it, please. All my days. Bro, what the fuck? He's got yeeted, bro. That, nah, how do you explain that one? That's. How'd you explain that one? There's no way you could explain that. Surely you can't even jump like that. And he's being dragged along. Mate, you're getting bitched. What? Mate, he's got fucking weird. That's weird. Nah. Oh, I don't like that one. That one's making me feel a bit weird inside. In the video, the security guard appears to be suspiciously looking around the area, seemingly confused. Then suddenly, an unseen force seems to attack him and throw him into a banner. The guard can be seen looking around in panic with no assailant in sight. He then suffers another attack and two other guards rush over to help him. The somewhat shaken mayor of Armenia says that, quote, a bishop and other religious leaders will come and bless the mayor's offices and that they'll bring God's blessing to every corner of this workspace. Now, it seems highly doubtful that the mayor of Armenia, Colombia would suddenly release a fake ghost video. So what do you think happened to that security guard? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, look, you got fucking flung here. Look at this. Oh, why is it? Oh, fling him. Bro, that is, this is nuts. Look at that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at him. He, like, falls into that. I don't know, you know. He falls. Look. Hmm. Ah, no, it does look like he's been pushed through. Uh, number three. Number three. Frank, a little boy from Tennessee, was touring the reportedly haunted Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. Wait, a little the boy. hospital first opened what? its doors in 1959 and has been housing sick and injured patients for nearly four decades. Much like any other hospital, South Pittsburgh has a sad history. Okay. Hundreds of people died within its confines. As a result, among the reported contacts, Ooh, like some of these patients Ooh. still walk the halls of the hospital. Strange shadow figures, the souls of wandering former doctors an abandoned and hospital nurses, twice. the ghosts of children, and even recurrent incidences of objects being... I have an idea. Should I go back to that? There's an a mental asylum. It's like quite a while. It's like a three-hour walk from my house. But I've been there twice. Should I go there and film it? Let me know, because... There's still so much to explore. I went back the second time and I found two whole new buildings with my mates. It was fucking weird. There's so much to this fucking hospital, bro. It's nuts. 
hurled or moved by an invisible force have all been reported by the witnesses. He hears some strange noises as he begins his nighttime investigation. I'm actually getting some noises. Oh yeah. Watch I had edited the time the original one. Watch I had like pop around the corner. I think. But look, the amount of crossing corners that can be hidden. Why is there a fucking bell? Why is there a bell there? He soon discovers that the small bell dangling in a hospital doorway is still inexplicably moving on its own as the unsettling sound of a jingling yeah, bell echoes just be a draft, through the dark hallway. Like, sort of Dismissing the strange occurrence, he proceeds to the hospital pharmacy. It should be noted that, be that the hospital's current caretakers painstakingly recreate what the hospital might have looked like when it was in service. So these pharmacy shelves are stocked with empty medicine bottles, which Why? may seem strange, but it's nothing compared to what happens next. Oh wow, this thing's got an in-house pharmacy. Why does it have the point? The other side there. Wait, is that? I thought I saw a head there, nothing. Never mind. Are you kidding me? Look at this. That is weird going. Those two balls just fall. Oh, I don't like this. No, I don't like it. Out of nowhere, an empty medicine bottle falls nowhere. down. As Frank walks oh, in, some of the nah. empty medicine bottles mysteriously yeah. tip over and fall onto the floor, which might make one a little apprehensive. As the investigation resumes, Why is there a teddy bear? this time, visiting the hospital's former children's ward. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this... Oh, the long cord on oh the side. No thanks. What? That was just moving. Oh nah, I'm getting and shivers in my legs. What the hell? Nah. Is that your horse? Don't ask. What? Don't speak to like that. What the fuck? That's weird. Do you like playing with the horse? I feel like this is like a child's spirit. You don't fucking see In this room. And it oddly got actually cold. Soon after the rocking horse incident, Why is it there? Frank completes his investigation. But when he uploads the video to YouTube, oh, his viewers notice something strange shit. that Frank didn't see. Now, throughout his investigation, he says that he feels like there's something following him. And it turns out, he was right. So, where's Frank at? Why is there dolls in the beds? That's just fucking weird, isn't it? Okay, there he goes. I don't see anything. As he enters one of the hospital's rooms, I didn't see his night vision camera captures a strange nah, figure that is fucking inside. weird could this be one of the reported haunted no, patients that is weird or could it simply be a mist or Ooh. a trick of the light let me know what you think in the comments it could be like a delay oh, it's from him walking back it's just not have my night vision i don't know, I don't the know. Oh, it got me again. It's the same cliff and it just got me again. No freaking way. Fuck's sake. Holy crap. Number two. Eleven years Eleven ago. Eleven years ago, Tony Naguiera recorded a short video of his son Elijah dancing to a Green Day song that was playing on their TV. He uploaded the video to his YouTube channel and for years, the video went mostly unnoticed. That is, until Tony's footage 
was shared on Reddit, and hundreds of Reddit users agreed on one thing. There's oh, no. something truly bizarre going on in this video. Damn, look at Liza, go like this. Liza, hey, like this. Liza, look it, hey. Oh, Liza, go like this. I'm looking by them to try to see if I can hit him. As Elijah continues to dance in the video, right behind little Elijah is what looks like the dark, shadowy. Oh, what the fuck! And it's seen just kind of standing there. That that looks real. A few seconds later, the child disappears. Even creepier, right after the small shadow figure seen, a strange. There's not even a reflection in the mirror, bro. Childlike oh. giggle can be heard. Elijah, go like this. Wait, listen. Nah, you might have another kid. You might, you might have another kid, though. You might have another Upon kid. Reaching out to Tony Nagiera, personally, he says that he has no idea of who or what this unexplained figure might be. He says his house does have a creepy history. Oh, the house was weird, built bro. inside of a gated community in Reno, Nevada, and the property on which the neighborhood was built used to be an old graveyard back in the 1960s. So this creepy oh. apparition could be Ugh. the ghost of a child buried on cemetery grounds long ago. Number one. Number Our one. last mysterious video on the list was sent to the popular Japanese YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. I've, I've they explained this. that there was no extra before. information attached to the email in which the video file was shared. They tried reaching out to the sender, but they got back no reply. In the video, a man appears to be walking through the woods seeing What a fucking idiot! Someone. And what happens next is absolutely horrifying. Check it out. Why? I mean, I did this as well, but I was with people. He's on his own. What the fuck? Oh! I just scream like a fucking little girl. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Yeah, run, bro. Fucking run. Get the fuck out of there. Why would you even go? Wait, what? Does that stick forward on my maddest tripping? Ah, uh, what have you heard there? Why would you go to the woods on your own? Like, to, like specifically for ghosts? Like, this is fucking stupid. Aloha. I can't see anything. Oh distance, fuck what no! Appears to be a tree branch can be seen moving bizarrely on its own. It's throwing it back. <laughs> the man spots two translucent things walking out of the dark forest. I mean, this camera's fucked, so it could easily just small. be like now. Some a people glitch. in the fourth wall's comment section suspect that the men might be looking for someone inside Aokigahara Forest, Aoki the same Gahara. forest where many Japanese oh, and women take forest, their own isn't it? lives. And that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I yeah. hope you liked the video. Fun that. Uh, if you enjoyed, let me know if you want me to do more of these type of videos. Because I wanted to do something a bit different. Uh, love.